Among the 20 players targeted for suspensions by Major League Baseball are Padres shortstop Everett Cabrera and catcher Yasmani Grandal. If found to have used performance-enhancing drugs, the players face a 50-game suspension for the first offense, a 100-game suspension for the second offense, and a lifetime ban for a third. Sports writer Jay Paris is here with further details. And Jay, welcome back. Okay, thank you. Now, put this into context for us. Why is this investigation such a big deal? Well, I think it's a big deal in that... Um there's some big name of, involved. When you're talking uh, most valuable players, Ryan Braun, Alex Rodriguez, a lot of times in the earlier uh, investigations of this kind of things, they'd go for the lower level guys. They're, they're, they went after the big plums in the tree this time, and it's, it's uh, pretty significant. And 20 suspensions. They, they, there hasn't been anything like this since, like, the, the early 1900s, right? No, 1919? This, this is big, and I'm a baseball guy, and I feel bad. You know, it's a scandal that's... Uh, that's really just starting and we're a lot closer to the beginning than we are the end. The key here is locally uh, Everett Cabrero is having a fabulous year uh, leading the league in stolen bases, most hits for the Padres and Yasmani Grandal, their, their uh, emerging catcher. Let's talk about that because this suspensions would really hurt the Padres, may, uh, maybe worse than some other of the teams. Right, this, this team uh, it works without a net. <laughs> it can't afford injuries. It can't afford bad contracts. It can't afford uh, bad player personnel decisions. So this would cut at the heart of their team, right up the middle where you need to be the most important. Especially when it comes to Grandall, right? Because he was already exp uh, he was suspended, right, from some excessive testosterone use. It, right. He had a bad test back in November. He was suspended 50 games, the first 50 games of the season, and that's a key point here. This could be viewed as a second offense for him, so he could be looking at it another 100 games if he's tied into this. And a, a couple of other the MVPs that people yeah. will know, uh, the, the big ones, Ryan Alex, Braun, right? Alex Ryan. Rodriguez, guys like that. I mean, that's that's not only getting getting the punishment out there, that's making a statement. When you start reeling in guys like that, those are some big fish. They're, they're making a statement, as you said. Now, is it likely that the players' union are going to fight these suspensions? Because there's some, there's some issue with that. Yeah, there's no better union in America or the world than the baseball players' union. But the key here, I think it's kind of a dilemma. The clean players want the game cleaned up. But the, the dirty players want representation by their union, which they think they should have. So I think it's they want a level playing field, so the union has to decide how they're going to juggle those balls. All right. Sports writer Jay Paris, thanks so much for this okay, update. Okay. Thank you very much.